hi everyone welcome back to our youtube channel if you are new here my name is shepard and this is my lovely wife nyasha hi everyone so today we're going to be talking about something really important if you are thinking of moving to scotland and that is the cost of living here yeah especially as immigrants it's important to know how much money you need to live comfortably here in scotland so we are going to break down all the main costs for you from rent to groceries and even give you some tips on how to save okay so let's start with the biggest one housing renting here in scotland can be expensive depending mm -hmm. on where you live for example if you are in a big city like edinburgh or Glasgow, rent for one bedroom flat can be anywhere from seven hundred pounds to like one thousand two hundred pounds per month. Yeah, but if you're in a smaller town or a rural area, rent can be a lot cheaper. Let's say around five hundred to seven hundred pounds a month. It really depends on the location mm, and the property. Sure. Yeah, mm. and don't forget about the council tax as well. Yes, yeah, it's the money that you pay to the local council for services like. Uh, rubbish collection and uh, street cleaning this can range from 100 to 300 pounds per month depending on where you live and how big your property is mm. so next up is utility these are things like electricity water and mm -hmm. gas for us we pay around 150 150 pounds to 200 pounds a month it really depends on on the energy on usage, usage yeah. yes and the type of property again and internet is another cost to think about we pay about 30 pounds per month for broadband but prices can range from 25 pounds to 40 pounds depending on your package mm. as well yeah. and uh, groceries are a big part of the budget too uh, um, on average we spend around 200 to 250 pounds per month on mm. groceries for the two of us and our little baby yeah but it also depends on where you shop so if you shop in in shops like audi or lidu it's a lot cheaper there you, so you can save a little bit compared to tesco and sunsbury mm -hmm. and also cooking at home helps to cut down the cost i'm so, a lucky man my, my <laughs> wife likes cooking so yes <laughs> so the other thing is transport here public transport is quite good so for a month, we usually use around eight pounds to hundred pounds on the bus pass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you're driving, petrol costs around one pound fifty per liter. And there's insurance to think about too as well, which can be anywhere from five hundred pounds to like two thousand pounds, depending on your car and your driving history. Yeah. So if you can. Using public transport can definitely be a lot cheaper, cheaper option, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially in big cities where parking is expensive. Mm -hmm. And the other good news about living in Scotland is that healthcare is mostly free under NHS. You don't pay to see a doctor and most treatment is free mm -hmm. in hospitals. But you do have to pay for prescriptions which are about £10 per item. Mm -hmm. And also private healthcare is an option if you want it, but it can be very pricey. Yeah, and for those with kids, childcare is a big expense here. Expensive. So, yeah, it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very expensive. Yeah. Necessary fees can be as high as eight hundred pounds to one thousand two hundred pounds a month if your child is under three. Yeah, and after three, you get some free childcare hours, which helps a lot. Mm -hmm. And schools are generally free here in Scotland. But if yes. you're thinking about private education that's another big cost so now let's talk about uh some funny stuff like eating out a meal at mid-range restaurant it costs from 15 to 20 pounds per person yeah uh, and going to the cinema costs around 10 pounds for a ticket and if you like staying active uh, gym memberships can be anywhere from 20 pounds to 50 pounds per month mm, and don't forget about the phone bill so most mobile plans cost around twenty pounds to thirty pounds per, per month. We each have one, so that's another expense to factor like in. Thirty pounds. Thirty, 30 pounds. pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's talk about how to save money. 
First, try using discount applications like Groupon on deals of eating out and other activities. Yeah, definitely. And if you need clothes, furniture or other things, just try and check out uh, secondhand shops. Mm. You can find some really good deals there. And also there is help available for those for those who are on low incomes like housing benefits or council tax deductions. So if you're eligible, don't forget to apply for one. So there you have it. That's the cost of living in Scotland as an immigrant. It can be expensive, but with a bit of budgeting, it's definitely manageable. Yes. So if you have any questions or want to know more about the cost of living, just comment down below and we'll be happy to answer and also love to hear from you guys. Yeah. And don't forget to like, share, share and subscribe. subscribe. Bye. Bye.